Hello everyone, my name is David, and I created the Unorthodox YouTube channel on August 3rd of 2019. Today I want to talk about something kind of serious, but not really serious. This has nothing to do with the whole um, C-O-A-P-P, -P or the FTC, anything like that. And I'm not about to go on a rant about how I don't get enough subscribers and views, and I'm going to delete my channel, because... Honestly, I'm, very, I'm more than satisfied with the amount of subscribers I already have, and the views, I really appreciate it all. Thank you guys for 33 subscribers. But um, today I want to talk about something serious, but not serious at all. Um, on August 10th, 2019, I posted my second video called the unorthodox recordings of David Hicks. That's me! And one of the songs on it was called My Weird Furry Dream, which was based on an actual dream. But it was shortened because this dream was just so weird and unorthodox that it was just all over the place. So, what I want to do first for this video is discuss, like, what this whole dream was. The smorgasbord of feelings and craziness that went into this one dream. So, one night I went to sleep, right? And before I even went to sleep, I made this mistake. And you can, and to anyone who watches this, experiment this with this if you want to. I don't recommend it at all. The results are a bit horrifying, but watching anime and furries in one sitting at the same time, you, you don't want to do that. The results are a bit petrifying. So, basically, I did that and I go to sleep. So, I, I'm homeschooled. So, I've never really been to public school before. So, the only interpretations of public school that I actually get is like from TV shows and stuff like that. So, here's the funny part of it all. I walked, I'm just in this like, little casual uniform thing like what I'm wearing right now with a hat on and some shoes and all that stuff and I was walking to the school but the school was like I was the only human there everyone else was an anthropomorphic animal and it was like furries that I knew and this was in August remember I had joined the furry community in like February so we were like towards the end of summer vacation here. And no, I uploaded the video in August. I had these video I had these like dreams during throughout the summer. But so yeah, it was towards the end of summer vacation. Like June. No, not June. It was like July. What am I thinking? Anyway, welcome to the school. Bunch of fursuiters everywhere. And it's like you're not breaking the magic because everyone's actually a fursuiter. That's their living, they're like living, breathing fursuiters. Because, <laughs> I don't know why, but I so vividly remember it was Aurora Bloom. And she was like the fashionista, sassy girl of the whole school. I'm probably going to regret saying this. I'm probably going to regret making this whole video. But, screw it. The channel's called an Orthodox, and we're going to do something in Orthodox today. There was Frankie, or formerly known as Frankie X. He was just shoving pencils up his nose. And I'll tell you why that was so significant later. And you had Telephone. You know, Telephone Ring, the one who just squeaks all over the place. You don't know what she's saying. Um, she was so tiny. She was like this size. Because she was the class pet. And she barely moved except for hopping around in this little cage. And just remember being the only one there, just sitting there. And I was like, in the class, I don't, I don't know what class this was. I don't know if it was math, English, social studies. I don't care. So, just paper airplanes and paper balls being thrown everywhere. And, you know, you know, the first thing I see was your strawberry. But, that's not all. He's the teacher, but wait, there's more, because 
He was an anime female teacher clothing. Like not the not the weird animes, but you know like the I'm happy go lucky animes sort of thing. And with eyelashes too. And just off topic for a second, there have been two Twitter posts from the Jewish Rivalry in which he has had eyelashes. One which were drawn on, and the other one, which was he was wearing Clint Fox Hugs's um eyelashes, I guess. By the way, the background voice is just my brother John playing Fortnite. And it was so terrifying for me. Because that's kind of like, what do you like making the dream? So I was a little bit terrified. I was like, oh no, if I'm beat me, I'm going to escape. But anyway, goes in the classroom. There's no wig or anything. That's the same hair, just these eyelashes and stuff. And um, it's... And she, it was Mrs. Strawberry, okay? It was a, an official gender bend with this. Official, and it was like, I want to hear something. Shame on John, big bitch. They were my shit about Mr. Billy. Something one and then, and then, boom, bow. So, anyway, begins teaching something, but all the looks are aimed towards me. Look really nice today, Mr. Hicks. And then he or she says whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna say they. Said. I'm like, thanks. And... Alright, so here's where it gets funny. Um, Kiwi's there. And Kiwi, he's just sitting there. He's just like, <laughs> pulling this big old raspberry in his hands. And the whole class is laughing. Majira walks towards Kiwi, takes him by the ear, and throws them up into the sky. But he goes through the roof. And we never saw him again. So, I'm like, what the? Ooh. So, go to lunch, right? Cafeteria food. It, it looked pretty good. So, that's how I knew it was a dream. Um, go to lunch, and I'm the loner, right? No one else would let me sit at their table, except for the teacher's table, which was only Majira. There was Frankie X who was just shoving pencils up his nose, just one after another, after another, after another. So I'm sitting here like, wow, ma'am, talking to Majora, you have superpowers. And she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm really strong, super strength. So I'm sitting there like, wow, that, that's pretty cool. Oh God, I'm about to actually say this. Now please, this has nothing to do with these people in real life. Let's get that straight. Get that straight, okay? 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 Nothing to do with these people in real life. This was my unorthodox imagination inflicted in my dream. So anyway, goes up to me and says, you know, I have another superpower. And I, what is it? I have the power to make little boys go red. I don't like where this is going, is what immediately struck in my mind. So you know what I did, Bombini? I ran, ran, yes, I ran away. Yes, I ran, right? I knocked the chair over and I started running. Dropped my lunch, which looked really good, really tasty, hunger, but nay, gotta run. So I'm running, right? Just turns up every corner like some sort of horror movie character. It's like, oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. So, this continues to happen, and then I wake up. That was really weird, I say to myself. <sighs> so, if you listen to this song, you know the order. Madeira, Crash, Spot, Sand, Abbott, Blazing. Um, some of these will be really short, some of these will be semi long because there was a real importance. But Crash was next. Second teacher, kind of the same get go as Madeira. And I don't know what class he was teaching either, but he had no superpowers. Just looking at me, complimenting me, and no one else, and all of this, and I'm like, oh, okie dokie. Like, okie dokie. Teacher's table again. Majira, 
But now we got Crash, and we got Frankie, and they're just waiting for me. Except for Frankie, who is still shoving pencils up his nose, one after the other after the other. And I'm sitting here like, what are you doing, shoving pencils up your nose? He just respond. So then we got during Crash, and they begin chasing me, drop the food again, get going. So as I'm running, I'm, I'm horrified. But it was amusing and traumatizing at the same time. Corner after corner, boom, oh nay, oh nay, just over and over and over again. Then I wake up. Then spots happen, same thing. Zan, Adler, which, which was very significant. Very, very, very large chest there is all I'm gonna say. Olay, all I'm gonna say. Then we got blazing. Again, like pretty much same thing with all the others. Then we got um got Dash. It was like the last one. And a weird side note. Frankie was here for all of this. At one point I literally asked him. Why are you not helping me? He just kept on sticking pencils up his nose. And eventually, the last time I had the dream, <laughs> he fell over while sticking all of these pencils up his nose. So like, yeah. Now, recently I had this dream, but Tamari was in it, and the song was all being made. I'm not about to remake this song just so Tamari can be in it. Not about to do that. Nay. So, you know, same thing. So, same thing over and over and over again. So, why is this so important? I want them to hear the song. But I don't at the same time. Because while it would be really funny to see their reactions, I'm also a bit scared because some of the furry in the dream are in real life relationships. And that scares me just a teeny weasy weasy bit. Cause I don't know what kind of response I'm gonna get. So we're gonna do this. That's so what we're gonna do. I wanna try and get them to listen to it. So do you want to watch it this? Um I mean like delicious? Nay yay. Um I really want them to see this one day. Um, but I'm a bit panicky. And for your information, I drew a thing out from Majira. And I want to send it to his P.O. box, but you know what, Tommy? I'm scared. And very shy. And I, I want to do it, but I don't want to do it. Toothpaste. I don't know why I just said that. So, Look at it this way, right? I want to do it, but I don't want to do it. But more so, I do want to do it. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And here's the best part. Pretty much all of these furries know each other. And if you don't know one another, you know at least one of them. Because Majira knows Crash, Spots, Zan, Adler, Blazin, and Dash. This one domino can go that was that delicious so um yeah that was pretty much the video if you watched the whole thing thank you very much you're a very good person more stuff on orthodox is coming soon so these kids um new characters are being developed for puppet characters so, pretty excited for that. One of them should be done soon, and the other one may not be here until, like, January 1st of next, like, January 1st of 2020. So, yeah, that was a little bit of a story for you. Yummy, yummy. Goodbye.